What is going on guys and welcome back to another episode of the FC Zero career mode and today we're gonna start with some post-match highlights now this is Zurich versus Luzern now this is the first goal here six minutes in great shot from Dom Gyeong now who's really becoming a beast man I think this is his third game in a row which he scores I don't know something like that though absolutely great streak of goals He's really proven himself to be a top player and proving he was worth it, all the 32.5 million. Now we come back here 20, almost 20 minutes later with Alvarez who scores a quite a weird goal but a good, it looks good, kind of weird because you don't know how he's done it. Go 2 nil up and now we are back here 39 minutes in. Shoot Simon Solman, what a fantastic goal this was guys. What a goal. He, now he has really terrible shooting stats but he's one of the most prolific midfielders we have. The most prolific last season. And look at this man, what a curved shot right on the top corner. What a goal man. Now we, and we even scored another one guys here in Alvarez. 3 4 0 at the 55th minute. The game surely wrapped up at this point. There's nothing they could have ever done. They just came here in the 89th minute to ruin the clean sheet. 4 1. And the game ends on 4 1, guys. Look at this chance, though. Final second. Last minute. Clear it out, and game ends here. 4-1, another very important three points obviously for the title race. Now guys, FC Thun versus Zurich, this, I had this formation quite rotated and last time out I had the, the normal formation. This time I had Nathan who's play, starting his first game in the season. Um, I had Dom Gioni, Pedersen, Mahi. So you, you already know it's quite rotated. Who, guess who scored? Dominguez for the fourth game running. Oh my god, man. What a player he's proving to be. Hamahi here intercepts as he likes to do. He intercepts a lot. Now, Alvarez, I tried to chip the goalkeeper. He saved it. Rebound comes in and score. He's not going to stop Alvarez, that's sure. Now they come back in here. Dom Gioni man, what what are you doing? They get a goal back and it's 2-1. Stupid goal man. I only concede mistakes because they're good at defending. And the game ended here 2-1. And we get an important 6 points at the start of the episode. So guys, you got the squad report, the youth squad report back now. It's the first of, of the month. So I don't see major changes at all. In the team, I think Viable is gonna have to leave though, he's not good enough. He needs to show us better stuff for us to be convinced about him. He's not, unfortunately. German Luna has a very good rating at 15, but he has a terrible potential. I, I don't know. Stockley's potential has remained the same, his minimum has gone up to 61. That didn't make sense how it was before. Let's go to see the players now. So we've got the scouts back available. We need to send. We need to send them somewhere else. Nothing really good here that convinces me. Mm, let's see here. This guy could have a rating. He doesn't. Nothing at all, man. Nothing at all, guys. This guy, oh my god, 825k of value, he has very bad, bad potential, but very good rating, oh my god. Another guy could be good, he is, I'm gonna get some, but I'm gonna release somebody. It's this guy, the one I signed, where is he? He has a bad potential, okay, Stainer. 65 rated guys, 65 rated Theo Steiner. Steiner. I'm gonna re release Viable and sign this guy Stuki. 
so guys where should I send Piotrowski Piotrowski mm, I want to try some new this some new places different Canada yeah Canada um, I want some I want some uh, difficult one. Did we send him to Sweden yet? No, we send him to Finland. Send him to Sw Sweden. Three months. So guys, now we have a very important press conference. Very important game press conference. Sorry. Um, this could get us om almost through to, through to the knockout stages if we win this. What is your expectation for this match? I'm only interested in winning this. We won them once, we can win them another time, surely. Given the recent close call against FC Turn, what is the general sentiment amongst your players in re regards the, of the previous match? <coughs> we are not affected. It was a rotated side who played against Spoon, so we had Nathan on, we have Dom Gioni, we're gonna have Oj come back, we're gonna have LVD back, so it's gonna be different this time. Do you hope to bring stability to the team's performance? You'll see what they're made of. We're playing really well guys. We won, so that's the only thing that is important. This is it guys. The most important match in our group stage probably if we win this we'll have a four point gap so if they have to win both Real Madrid and Porto for us to, to surpass us and we need to win and lose and draw against Real Madrid and Porto so I think that that's I think that's how it is or no I think we still go we need to lose both games I guess still oh my god this guy is so short who is this guy right Fraser um, is it just me that uh, I'm seeing too short points Vasharin Vasharin Mecha Vasharin shoots Haji saved Come on, Young is Haji into the middle. LVD, LVD, LVD. Ray Vasharin! So, that, that, that had to be at least one target, man. At least one target. Great Chevella. How did it go so high, though? Come on! Come on! Clear! Oh my god, guys, that was a miracle. Come on, come on great from Karabatsi, it's now Yanis Haji, great pass from Yanis Haji, find Lucas in Mecha, penalty, penalty, guys it's a penalty, <coughs> you feel the stress, I, I cough, guys it's a penalty, if we don't score this, if we score this, we're gonna win, they get a red card, Who's gonna take this though? Oh my god, it's gonna be in a match match scores, oh my god! In match scores from the spot, we go 1-0 up guys. With this very important penalty, Lucas in match finally scores after a lot of time, not scoring I think. If I remember well, it's been quite a while since he scored. But he scores from the spot, he doesn't let us down this time. And it's 1 0 for FC Zurich at the late, at the late, late, st late time. This could mean qualification to the knockouts. This really could mean qualification to the knockouts. Go on, press Vincent. Right, Vincent will intercept, and we win this match in an absolutely great way, guys. 1 0. 
at home this brings us four points ahead of AS Monaco no four or five I think we go five now points ahead go five points ahead so until we don't lose both matches and they win both matches they we go through that's how it is oh my god guys I've just realized that I think we are now five points ahead guys we're here in the post-match interview so Elvedi is continuing his hot run of form how satisfied are you with his performance today must keep momentum it's a very it was a very tight match until the end your team managed to score the winner in the last minutes of the match you were lucky to score weren't you Yeah, sometimes you need a bit of luck. We were we were a bit lucky to get the penalty. They attacked a lot. It was a very tight game. I'm not gonna say we deserve to win, but not gonna say that they deserve to win. It was quite lucky. Not too much though. <clears throat> was the win ever in doubt? I trusted we'd give it our all, and we won. I I knew we should have won this. Guys, now we're here for the pre-match press conference between FC Zurich and Young Boys so Zurich are currently on a winning streak having won their last six matches will you keep it going against Young Boys um, I am focused on long-term success that's true because that's true because we need to win the league right now we are four points I guess I think behind Basel so yeah Last time you faced Basel, they won 2 1 and a thrilling encounter. Do you, can you win this this time around? Um, stuff battle. We'll show them. We'll show that I want to win this match at all at all costs. It's a very important match. We can't afford to, to lose points. Even a draw is bad. Is the strategy is the strategy going to change? Our oh, strategy is winning. It is. It is. It really is actually. This is the moment, guys. We have been waiting for, for quite a while. Important match. We need to get through and win. In obviously, of course, we need to win this, guys. Very important, as I have been saying for quite a while now. We've got our full team on full strength. Nobody is is fatigated. Everybody is on full summon apart from Philip Con who's well, we played pretty much all the matches in the whole today, season no now. Not, don't, not really intended to play Benalio anytime no, soon. That's so true. Like He's 69 hard. rated guys. I don't see a future at the club. This is I think his last season. I don't know if I'm going to renew his contract or not. Comment down below guys because I really don't know what to shoot out. Leave his contract for now and sign Martin van der Voort next season and have competition with van der Voort and Philip Korn. Only Philip Korn, who is a club legend, renewed the contract of Benalio to keep him as a third goalkeeper or a second goalkeeper with Pukai challenging themselves. What do you think, guys? I really don't know what to do. We got the money. I think we could buy Martin van der Voort, but I don't know. if. Anybody who watches this video till now, please comment and suggest anything. I'll try to. I'll take. I'll definitely take your suggestion into consideration. Wait for Melvidi. Right, save from Philip. Come on, Alvarez now. Alvarez, Julian Alvarez. Julian. Alvarez with his pace, Lutomba gets out of the way, Alvarez, oh my god what a run from Alvarez, who scores an absolutely beautiful goal, stunning, absolutely unthinkable, something like this, what a goal from Julian Alvarez, have you seen from when he's, where he started to run, I think it was behind, I don't know if he started to run from the from the half of the pitch or on our from our side of the pitch he's done a big run though guys great goal from Alvarez very important one of course 
it's a very important team. Hopefully we can hold on to this lead and not lose it. Come on, great pass, Versharen. Versharen to the middle. Haji, Haji scores another goal and it's 2-0 for FC Zurich now. Great counter attack, great pass from Versharen and Yanis Haji can't do anything but tap it in for another goal that secures our lead even more. Great goal guys, now it's difficult to lose this lead. Hope this lead hopefully we can get even another one to wrap the game up. I think that's how you, you say it right now. I, my mind has gone blank right now, I can't I can't remember how to say it correctly. Read shot from over as though. Yanis. Great curve shot. Oh my god. That almost gone in, gone in, what a goal it would have had been. Oh my god, it wasn't far off. Guys, the game ends here 2 0. Another very, very important three points here. Not just for the three points, for the, the match we won against a team like Young Boys, which I think were one point behind us maybe even more now they surely more than four points behind us hopefully Basel don't get the result and lose the, a bit of gap still they're gonna be first place but lose a bit of gap yeah, it's a great day for football in this lovely stadium I'm it's good work this as they chase a go-ahead goal Alvarez well that's the opener and it's been coming the better side but you have to score when you're on top. We wondered whether they would do it. They've set it. He's got it in behind the defenders for the attack of the chase. Anderson. Oh, what a goal! And what a game we're getting here. It's level again. Tries the shot here. The ball's loose. Goalkeeper made this wonderful technique. Passive play at the moment by the defending team. To level it up now. Oh, it's a great goal! So guys, now we're here for Neuchatel Zamak, so we go into this match with full confidence because we should win a game like this last in the table. We score here with Alvarez, they have only two points, they only drew twice in all these matches. But wait till you see the surprise that happened. They came back here, Guri, Anderson shoots a very slow shot man I don't know how it went in but it Guys, did and they draw at the end of the first half the Champions League, you have it's not just that though they now. came we back great save from Philip Juan he couldn't save this one as well though they go to one knockout guys we had the chance to lose this sick fortunately Saliochkan comes really here and scores pass the group right now. We I think his first goal at, at Zurich levels twice, things up in the 66th minute and now here we have a super lucky Dominguez saves us and we don't drop points away at Neuchatel Right, so we didn't play very important well. three points. Neither I don't know how we struggled league, that so bad against the last in the, chart in, in the table. Is we took only two points from all the matches, and for me. but at least we managed I to get the three even points. Want to achieve first place is not even realistic. But Monaco have to do that. Have to do big heroics to go through you need to lose against Porto and Real Madrid and they have to win against Porto and Real Madrid which is very difficult obviously and I wanted to show you even the league table which is looking really tough guys this season the league title look, looks very tough we got now 10 points over Sion which is in third place 11 over Young Boys which is in fourth place they lost again incredible wait a sec they lost. They drew against Servet. We, need, we don't. We can't afford to drop points in the league. If we get a draw now here against Real Madrid, I'm gonna play super rotated side for Porto because we basically gone through and can't afford injuries or anything. I'm gonna play very, very, a very, very, very rotated side. Can you win this time around? <coughs> it's. It's tough, it's tough battle, it's really tough, I don't think we can beat them. Most we can do is maybe draw, but beat them is very difficult. How are you managing fatigue? fatigue?
Who manage fatigue strategic? We don't have fatigue though. They, all my players have good stamina. Your team is bossing in great form recently. Do you think you can c continue to perform at this rate? Um, we can do even better. Guys, I'm actually I need to confess something. I'm quite scared for the league title this season. Why is this is possibly the deciding match to get us through to the knockout stages of the Champions League and draw would be great. We're here at Santiago Bernabeu, one of the one of the most big stadiums in the world, one of the most beautiful stadiums in the world, one of the biggest arenas in football, international football, most famous, most historic. Well, I don't know how many Champions League have won in the stadium. Surely more than five. Actually, no. Surely more than four. Certainly drew some some of them as well. This season we, we just have three losses and it has to remain like that for quite a long time. At least just get two draws, two draws and four losses at the end of the season as a whole result. That's the maximum I can afford. Two draws and two losses. Not nothing more. <coughs> uh, no, two draws and another and one loss. That's all we can afford. Last season was a very tight call as well, the late title. This season, I, I'm already scared, but three losses is a lot, guys. They were only one draw and one loss. We need to win twice against them. The next two games we have against them. The only two games, actually. So, we need to be careful a lot about the league. Hopefully we can get a draw here. This is the formation I've put out, by the way. Nothing changed, actually, just... Benches has changed. I put in Ariad Sidiris and Dejan Kulisevsky. Come on. Lucas and Mecha. Lucas and Mecha. Lucas and Mecha scores on my board. Guys, it's been such a long time since Mecha scored apart from the penalty. And he scores such an important goal at the Stadio Bernabeu. Oh my god, guys, I can't believe we, we're in front, guys, against Real Madrid. What a run we're doing in the Champions League. Oh my god, guys, I, I can't. I have no emotions left right now. I'm so in disbelief. Like, I can't believe this. Oh my god, no. Oh my god, they got a goal. <coughs> the, the left back, Yanis Haji. Alvarez, Julian. Alvarez scores, oh my god. We go in front yet again, guys. 2 1 for FC Zurich, Alvarez. Gets a, a dream goal for him, not a dream goal, like a dream. It, it's a dream scoring in the Santiago Bernabeu in the Champions League to get your team to the knockout stages. Great goal from Julian Alvarez. Come on, Gui. Oh my god. Runs. Kyle Walker. Englishman with a weird transfer. Rodrigo into the middle. Kevin Rook doesn't get it. Aiden, Aiden has it does. Into the middle. Korn gets to it. We win this guys. We win this match against Real Madrid 2-1. How is the ref not? Guys, we won at the Stadio San Santiago Bernabeu. 2-1 against Real Madrid, can you even believe this? Oh my god guys, incredible, unbelievable, 
we go now top we top the group we going to the rounds of 16 oh my god guys so guys we're here for the post-match interview I, I can't believe man we top of the group you have the chance to top the group how satisfied are you with Omar Rajik? He deserves all praise. He deserves all praise. He doesn't. He he never lost momentum. He was always very good since the beginning. <coughs> you managed to win a close match with a size of goal in the second half. What do you think made the difference in today's game? We were the better team. Real Madrid, man. I think they haven't rearranged the team yet. I I'm gonna check it out, man. They haven't been very good. They drew to Monaco. They lost against us. They might go through the group just a second. So, are you happy with today's result? How could I not be happy? No, I could have said, no, we need to do better. We won Real Madrid away. So guys, I've transferred some players, so I've already showed you Crazy. I got this guy, Steiner, I think I showed him to you, he signed him from the scouts. He had, he had terrible potential, but great rating. Sold him for 860k to Citadella. Uh, I tried to get a sell on clause, but you can't get from youth, youth players. And I... Some of you guys have been saying that you, I, one of you guys said, told me to find the Ibra region, and uh, I found him. I, he's not very good though. Olson, he's 16 already, 20 years old. That's already not very good. Um, he's got only three soft going with three so weak foot. He's very short. And these are his stats. He's not too good. He's very fast. He's not that good though. So guys, here we had the match versus Lugano, which obviously is a very important match like everyone out every other one. Over is good gets a great goal here. Very, really strange shot with the right foot there. Got a very good shot out of it. But as every match I was saying it's very important three points. And here we really risked to lose them. Fortunately, Mecha gets here the great chances, 79th minute, to put us back in front and win us the match. Very important three points. Guys, I'd love to know your thoughts. Now, Eric Lamella's contract is expiring at the end of the season. We do kind of need a right mid. Don't need, we kind of need. Kulisevsky has been a total let down. He's really trash. He's incapable of doing anything. He's slow. He's bad at, shoot, at shooting. He's just good at passing, and that's it. And I don't not looking for that for that in our RCA, RCAM right attacking LAM RAM RAM. So, Eric Lamella could be a perfect fit for that position. He's 29 years old, <laughs> he'd cost less, obviously. We could offer somebody, a, a youngster maybe, who do we have transfer listed? We've got Haley Selassie and Chagari. I'd love to offer Chagari. Actually, more Haley Selassie is not of any use. Um, I'm gonna go in for him right now to see what to show you what kind of deal we could get. I'd love to hear your thoughts and what you think. I think it could be a good player, good backup for Champions League knock for the Champions League knockout stages and the league, of course, because we're struggling a bit. So we'd need more backup to the team. So I'd go straight away offering. Haley Selassie, which they're not interested in. This is not good enough. <coughs> uh, offer of the position, full backs, centre backs. Don't have centre backs to offer. 
Brito or Shagari, let's go with Shagari. So they'd like Shagari with 15 million on top. That's not gonna happen. Uh, eight, ten million straight. Twelve point six, ten point two million plus Shagari, ten point five. Okay, wait, eleven million, and that's it, eleven straight. Okay, so we got a deal for 11.2 here, guys. Obviously, I'm going to end negotiation because I'm going to need to hear your thoughts about this. Actually, let's accept it. Let's just accept it. If you say yes, I'm going to give him a contract in the next episode, which I should... In which I should be still in this negotiation. Guys, feel free to say... Uh, I think we we could come in a need. So guys, we're back here for another post-com match. So in this game, we were facing um, loser, no, Golan, sorry, Golan, and we go in front, in front at the 30th minute of a long way to get a goal from of who, who else than. Alvarez which and here we get a penalty in the sixth in the 59th minute 58th I want to go for the top right corner I do and look at this how closer than that can you be hits both posts and stays out and now we get 3-0 out oh sorry last goal wasn't the first one to open the match you I lost the recording of a goal 3-0 here there, don't remember who scored the first goal I do remember those 3 nil and that's gonna be it guys for this episode hope you like subscribe and have a good one peace